What's up guys, welcome back to the Modern Singing Method. Today we're gonna be diving deep into the pharyngeal sound. Now what the pharyngeal does, it gives us much better grip, much better compression on the chord. So uh, having that, mm, mm, that very pointy sound with a, very, with a nice attack, mm, 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 helps us get higher, easier, with less effort. The problem starts when the pharyngeal sounds a lot different than normal voice. So for example, if I were sliding with an ah sound, Ah, it kind of makes sense, right? It connects my bottom with my top somehow. But if I did, mm, that's where the trouble starts. A lot of people want to go too pointy and they tend, mm, they tend to raise the larynx and close that passage right here, right? So the higher they go, they get stuck with it. Mm, mm, mm. And what, what it does, it just adds a whole lot of pressure in the throat. Just remember, because we're going higher and because we're using a little bit of, a, uh, of, of nasality in the tone, that doesn't mean that we forget where the source of our sound is, right? So, when I go... Mm -hmm, what I keep monitoring as I slide higher is how loose everything inside my throat is. So, when I slide higher... Mm -hmm, and that's another problem. The minute you do it correctly, you're gonna start losing a little bit of that... Uh, bright point of resonance, especially going past the, uh, your, your bridge. So when you go... Mm, now all of a sudden, it might sound continuous, but it kind of sounds a little lost to my ear at least. So instead of... Mm, which would be if I was pressing it and I was getting the same consistent tone... Mm, and that happens for a couple of reasons. First of all, the tongue is blocking everything going outward. So literally, if I was just moving my mouth and doing the same slide, you wouldn't hear much difference because there's nothing going on with the mouth. What happens is the air is traveling uh, to the nasal passage, hence we get all that that kind of ugly nasal sound. But the problem starts happening when we start to overdo it. We over compress. And that's where we forget that this system works together. We don't want to use the sound of the bite and the pharyngeal, just that. We want to use it and connect it to the rest of our voice, right? Because that's where we start, that's where we're going to end up with. So going... All of a sudden, it's a very weird uh, sensation to not feel that weight in the mouth. But that's the, that's the secret. If you stop uh, trying to feel that forwardness and that big power of the voice, you're going to preserve the voice much better for the higher notes. Mm -hmm. Now, once we reach the top, we want to double check if that uh, sound again translates with what we're trying to do. So, at any point, you should be able to drop the tongue mm -hmm. and get that sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, all it is is just the tongue blocking uh, the passage. And I'm actually using a, a lot more room uh, by allowing my throat resonance to be built rather than blocking the throat resonance and going So that's a great checkpoint to see if you're actually yeah, getting a sound that's usable or not. I hope this was enough to untangle that uh, strange idea that a lot of people have about the pharyngeal. I know it's troubling a lot of singers, it used to trouble me a lot. I hope this helps. Uh, take care and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.